You need to sell your game. I just turned on that kid with a 3-3 sensitivity. Yo, welcome back to the channel, everyone. And in this video, we're gonna be going over the best settings to use after the recent update here in season three of Call of Duty Vanguard. The settings I'm about to show you guys are perfect if you guys are trying to improve your aim, accuracy, and gun skill, and possibly drop your first V2 rocket. So with all being said, the like goal on this video has to be 350 likes. If we can get 350 likes in under 24 hours, that'd be absolutely incredible. Now, let me know down in the comment section right now, what are your current sensitivity settings you guys are running in Vanguard? And obviously, huge shout out to the Nication Squad. Thank you guys for tuning into all of my content. If y'all want a shout out, you know what to do. Comment Noti Gang down in the comment section below. Let's go over these settings. So first off, you guys can see here that I play with an Xbox Elite controller on PC. This is hands down one of the best controllers on the market if you guys are looking for a controller with paddles on the back. They're durable, they're affordable, and they're not going to die on you after three months of use. I've used Xbox Elite controllers for over years, and honestly, I cannot recommend anything better than a controller than this if you guys are looking for something that has buttons on the back. As you guys can also see here, I play on a very low sensitivity setting. Now, I also have some gameplay in this video using these exact settings, turning on players and maneuvering around the map quickly and efficiently, running a 3-3 sensitivity. So many people try to tell me that I'm not running on a 3-3. I play on a 3-3 sensitivity. Now, the reason I play on a 3-3 sensitivity here in Vanguard is because this is a boots on the ground Call of Duty that the time to kill is incredibly fast. So the most important thing in this game is making sure you guys are hitting your shots accurately and as quickly as possible. And that is the easiest to accomplish when you guys are running on a low sensitivity setting. You do not need to be playing on a 10, 10 plus in order to be able to turn on players or maneuver around the map quickly. You can do all that on a 3-3. I am literally living proof. Now, what you guys are also going to see here is I actually have reduced my ADS sensitivity from a 1 to a 0.7. This is crucial if you guys are trying to truly improve your aim as well as your accuracy. It comes default by 1. The reason I go ahead and reduce it down to a 0.7 is so there is less stick plate in my thumbstick so I am as accurate as possible at longer ranges. This is going to drastically help out players who are struggling with their aim and accuracy at long range because realistically anybody can take somebody out at close and medium range the real challenge is taking people out across the map at longer ranges and that's what you can get done when running a 3-3 sensitivity with a 0.7 low as well as high zoom and what you guys are also going to see is i play on the tactical button layout tactical is going to be the absolute best absolute best button layout to play on in vanguard no matter what control you guys have it does not matter if you guys have a regular ps4 a regular ps5 an xbox controller or maybe a scuff or an xbox elite like i do tactical is going to be the best button layout allowing you to remap your crouch and your prone button so you guys can get in and out of cover a lot easier and also perform a drop shot a lot easier here in vanguard now, this is going to allow you to win more gunfights at close range. You're going to see a lot of that in the gameplay as well. Me drop shotting and just taking people out even at close ranges with a 3 d sensitivity. Again, this is proof that you can run a low sensitivity and still be agile and most importantly, accurate. Because there's no point in running a high sensitivity if you can't hit anything on the map. Now, what you guys are also going to see here is everything else is going to be pretty much on standard. I've not messed with my aim assist response curve type. You can go ahead and play with this, but for me personally, I don't typically like to touch this because this can vary from Call of Duty to Call of Duty. And the last thing I want to have do is relearn how to use the aim assist mechanics in each game. So that's why I keep this on standard. Now, I do turn off controller vibration. This is a setting that you're either going to turn off and never turn back on or turn it off and like the vibration. Honestly, I don't like it. I feel like it kind of messes up my aim and accuracy at longer ranges. That's why I go ahead and disable it. I actually went ahead and took the rumbles out of my controller so it's a little bit lighter, but you don't have to go to that extent. Just go ahead and turning off the vibration is going to overall give you more control over your aim. And honestly, I just think it's just a better way to play Call of Duty. But again, it's a setting that you're going to either turn off and never turn it back on or turn it off and want to like it and, you know, keep it back on. So 
again these are everything else is gonna be pretty much the same i've not messed with any of these settings here in vanguard because you really don't need to go ahead and touch any of this now as far as the interface goes all this is going to be pretty much the same i have not touched any of this as well these are settings that you just don't really have to touch and honestly don't really matter now for the audio audio settings are actually incredibly underrated in this game now for my master volume i have on 100 my music volume i've actually turned down to 50 and everything else is going to be pretty much the same now i do play on the home theater audio mix this is overall going to be a great kind of audio setting if you guys have a headset just like an astro a40tr or any headset in general being able to hear footsteps a lot easier and kind of pimp where people are coming from is going to allow you to make smart decisions and honestly go ahead and predict where people are going to be at before they actually show up so you guys can like make smarter plays and overall stay alive and potentially get your first feature rocket if you have a headset go ahead and play on home theater it's going to drastically improve your immersiveness in the game and overall kind of give you the edge over other players because you can hear their footsteps coming you can obviously pre-fire or at least know that somebody is gonna be on the corner you can you know make your decision on how you want to go ahead and attack a gunfight that's why i have the home theater as my audio mix now again everything else under this is going to be pretty much the same i've not went ahead and touched any of these settings all this is going to be personal preference and also depending on what type of headset you guys are rocking with here in vanguard now as far as the graphic setting again these are going to be kind of depending on what type of monitor you have now for the monitor that i specifically use i use an asus tough gaming monitor which i highly recommend you guys going ahead and checking out playing on a gaming monitor is going to be a huge step in the right direction if you guys are in the market for one I used to play on a regular TV up to Call of Duty Cold War. And once I went to a monitor, I couldn't believe that I was playing on a TV for that long. Just overall getting more frames per second. I get 144 hertz. And also for my PC, I can get up to 200 frames per, per second in multiplayer. It's overall just going to drastically improve how you play Call of Duty. Now, as far as the quality goes here, you're going to see that I have, again, all these settings are going to be default on what you know your pc can handle i have not touched any of these for the most part some of them i've actually turned down a little bit just because i don't want to overload my pc when i'm restreaming and recording but again if you guys are just playing the game you can have all these on high again it's going to be depending on what type of pc you guys are rocking with now here's where things are important these are the gameplay settings i play on a 120 fov which is crucial in order to kind of reduce the visual recoil you guys get in game and also go ahead and give you a larger field of view so you can see exactly what's going on and more of what's going on here in multiplayer when you guys couple 120 fov with the affected aes field of view and a 3 d sensitivity you are going to be a straight laser it's going to be hard to miss shots at longer ranges and i guarantee you once you guys go ahead and rock those settings you're going to be seeing a drastic improvement in your gameplay so make sure you guys play on a fov i'd say at least at 100 and also the ads field of view set to affected is going to mirror your field of view so it's going to make it feel like your guns have less recoil but in reality you just went ahead and changed your field of view orientation which i think a lot of people kind of get mixed up because some people play on independent which is actually going to go ahead and mirror it closer to you that's what you don't want to have happen you would have it as affected so it's gonna mirror the fov that you're playing on whether it be 100 or all the way up to 120 so make sure you guys go ahead and make those settings now something else you guys definitely want to go ahead and take a look at here in game is you want to make sure that your world motion blur as well as your weapon motion blur is turned off this is going to add a weird grain and kind of film over your gameplay which you do not want here in vanguard so make sure you guys have these turned off overall gonna make your game look and run a little bit smoother and you're gonna enjoy a little bit more these are gonna be the best settings you guys want to check out here in vanguard after the recent update here in season three if there's one that you can take from this video is you do not need to run a high sensitivity on this game in order to take people out at longer ranges that's something that i see a lot of people make the mistake they think they have to run a high sensitivity you do not I'm going to go ahead and show you guys some gameplay right now of me literally running a 3D sensitivity and absolutely going crazy here in this game. So if you guys do enjoy, make sure you guys drop a like on the video, subscribe to the channel, and also turn those post notifications. Let's get right into the gameplay. What we can do here. Got a red star. Red star is a good map. I like red star. 
all about really just positioning and making sure you're hitting your shots. Oh, baby. Capturing Charlie. Alright, we're gonna go ahead and make a push over here. Nobody over there. Losing objective able. Kinda curious exactly. Nice teammate. Where I can expect these guys to come from. Closing with Baker. Looks like we flipped the spawns to put them to A. I'm not really a fan of having them at A just because it's just too campy over there. So hopefully we can kind of put them back over where we're at right now. I'd much rather than be spawning in at B because A, like I said, A is too campy. Yep, sorry, somebody trying to shoot me. Yeah. There's a, there's already a bunch of them just in the back. Securing Baker. Enemy recon, spy in the skies. Okay, there's a there's a lot over here now. I want them to have B, so this is perfect. This thing about Red Star, bro. Red Star is just oh man. Here we go. Dogs. Kind of just playing back right now, just playing the spawns at this point. Got a local. Oh shit. Go ahead and pop this. Yeah, there's quite a few of them down here. Oh. I'm really turning on these kids like a 3-3 sensitivity right now. <laughs> I'm really turning on these kids with a 3 cents. Dogs. I need my bot. There it is. Let them take B. Why are we triple... This is ludicrous. Why are we triple capping right now? We definitely don't need to be doing this. Oh my goodness, team. Oh, they're spawning all around me again, man. Come on, 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 come on. I can see everything. Oh my god. He has armor! Oh my god! The kid had body armor too. Oh my god. Oh. Yo. Losing objective able. Hostile care package arriving soon. Tanner recon I'm fucking mowing these kids down right now. Hell of a 
on, dog on the way, yeah? Recon flight scanning the area. God! 